this activity is called Wheel of Colour and we're going to be creating a pinwheel. Um, so I've got one here that I made earlier um, and I'll just hold it so you guys can see it. Um, as you can see it's really colourful um, and I've used lots of different colours and patterns on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to give you a demo of my pinwheel and I'm going to use my hairdryer for that and hopefully it's going to work. So if you want to try this at home when you've made your pinwheel please ask if it's okay to use the hairdryer um, and ask for help as well if you if you need help. So I'm going to um, use my hairdryer and hopefully my wheel is going to spin. There we go. So, oh, that was exciting. <laughs> Bit of fun. Um, so, I want to show you how I created my Wheel of Colour. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what materials you'll need for today's activity. First, I've got some A4 paper. Um, thick paper works better because we're going to be using watercolour paints. Then I've got some paper fasteners. Now these are the little pins that you can put through paper and they've got the little legs that open up at the back. Then I've got some scissors. Please ask for help from a grown up using the scissors if you need help. I'm sure they wouldn't mind helping you. Then I've got a white crayon. This isn't essential so if you've not got this don't worry. Um, it's optional. Um, then I've got some plasticine. Um, you could also use blue tack if you've not got plasticine. Um, then I've got some double sided tape. You could also use just regular cellar tape. Then I've got a ruler and a pencil. And then I've got a paintbrush and a set of watercolour paints. So if you've not got um, watercolour paints at home don't worry you just need something to colour in with so you could use uh, felted pens, coloured pencils, just whatever you've got at home. Um, lastly I've got a little piece of card so roughly kind of A4 size will do the trick. So there are all your materials. You might want to pause the video for a minute now while you go and get all your bits and bobs together and then when you get back we'll get creating. So the first thing that we need to do is draw a square. Um, so I'm going to take my um, ruler and my pencil and my square needs to be approximately 15 centimetres. So I'm just going to start off marking my square here. So that's 15 across, 15 down, and 15 across again. Just going to draw it out. And I've just used the edge of the page there so I don't have to cut along the edge of the page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from one corner to the opposite corner. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line that goes across the page. So what that does, whoops a daisy, is it gives you a centre point there. So now I'm going to measure 6 centimetres from the edge. So if you need help with all of this measuring, you can always ask a grown-up to help you. I'm sure they wouldn't mind giving you a hand. So that's 6 centimetres from the edge on each side. There we go, just check that I got that one right. Yep. So that's all my measuring done. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 
white crayon if you've not got a white crayon um, just ignore this bit it's not essential um, so I'm just going to do a little dance with my white crayon and just take it for a little walk around the page so you can do whatever you whatever pattern you like with this um, and you can't really see it until you put the colour on um, and then you'll be able to see it so next I'm going to take my paintbrush and my watercolour palette and I'm just going to pick some nice bright colours and I'm just going to start painting over the top so it doesn't matter if you go over the edge because we're going to cut this out so you can be a bit messy if you like. So I think I'm going to go round and make a sort of rainbow. had to think about that for a minute so dark indigo colour and then lastly we want kind of a purpley colour and that will bring us back to the red there we go so you don't have to do a rainbow you can just put colours on randomly if you like just to have a little play um, so when this is dry if you want to you can just air dry this um, or you could use your hair dryer again to dry it when it's dry you can also if you want to you can paint the back of it um, or you could leave the back white it's up to you um, so I'm just going to put that to one side and I'll show you one that I prepared earlier um, and I'm just going to get my scissors and cut this one out so all we're doing to start off with is just cutting around the edge So now I've got my square, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the edges to those little points that we made when we measured six centimetres in. So from each corner Okay, so now I've got this square and I've got these loose edges. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create some holes um, and I'm going to do this with my um, plasticine. I'm just going to pop my plasticine down there and I'm going to use my pencil. Um, so firstly, I'm going to create a hole in the center and then I'm going to create a hole on each edge so we don't need both edges we just need one edge so the left hand edge of each of our sections so I'm going to pop that down in there that's one hole two 
three, four. So this is a nice safe way of just creating the holes um, without having to use scissors or anything sharp. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the paper sharpeners, paper fasteners. And we're going to fold our edges into the center so i'm going to turn my square over and i'm going to bring each edge so that the hole that i've created is over the central hole so this one's going to go over the top as is this one and lastly this one's going to come over and then I'm going to put my paper fastener so I'm going to thread it through all of these holes so I'm going to go one two three four it's a bit fiddly this and then this it's going to go through the center there we go so that's creating your um, pinwheel you can see the back looks quite snazzy as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the little legs of the wheel out just to hold it all in place and then I'm going to create my stem. So what we want to do here is just cut a strip of this card. So it needs to be about the same width as the ruler. So I'm just going to hold my ruler to the edge and I'm going to draw a line and then cut it out. So now we need to create a little hole for the um, paper fastener to go through. So I'm going to use my plasticine again. And I'm going to put it about two centimetres from the top. Just poke it through like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to my pencil so you can either use double sided tape for this or you can just use um, sellotape if you're using double sided tape just lay a length of the tape down the centre There we go, I'm going to stick my pencil on and then I'm going to sort of fold my card so it goes around my pencil to give a kind of the shape of like a, a flower stem. And then lastly I'm going to take my pinwheel and I'm going to thread my paper fasteners. and just fold them at the back but don't put them too tightly because your pinwheel will need a little bit of space um, between your stem and your wheel to be able to turn and if you put it too tight it will just it won't go anywhere so you might need to kind of wriggle it about a bit just to loosen it up but don't be too rough with it because you don't want to rip it but just to kind of loosen everything enough so that it can turn freely. So there is my pinwheel. Um, and as you can see with this one, it's slightly different because I've just cut the edges off just to give them a nice curved shape. Um, but it's entirely up to you. If you like them pointy, leave them pointy. It's 
if you like them curved then you can just trim your edges off this is now the moment of truth i'm going to try and spin my pinwheel with my hair dryer and hopefully fingers crossed it will work so i'm going to just wriggle it a little bit to make sure that it can kind of turn freely so i'm going to take my hair dryer give it a go hey there we go so it's spinning try and bring it a bit closer there we go i think that's enough of a spin so yay it works so there we have it that was wheel of color mm.